What's up, modern steaders? That's right, today's concrete day. The concrete truck should be here in about an hour and a half. We got a few things to finish doing before they show up. We got a friend coming over to give us a hand. It's gonna be a hot one, so let's get to it. Sure you got some hose and water ready for where you're going to be doing your concrete. When I got up this morning and looked out the door, I saw a bear cub standing out there in the field. That didn't make me happy. I think the bear cub was probably two years old. Came out here, scared it off. I was going to go get my BB gun, but it was still dark out. It was 4.30 in the morning, so I couldn't see it. So we're going to have to keep an eye out, make sure the bear cub doesn't come back. And if it does, we're going to have to get the BB gun out and just let him know, this isn't a place for you to come. Lumna Acres is off limits. And so it got me thinking that also, the fence was mangled the other day. I bet you it was the bear trying to get in with the chickens. And guess what? The poultry netting held them off. Yes. Now we want to prep our cattle panels and get them ready to go on the slab until the concrete truck gets here. The cattle panels are 16 feet long and so is our slab. I want about 6 inches on each end so I'm going to cut them down to 15 feet long. The best job for this is bolt cutters. The sand we put down the other day is looking a little dry, so we're just going to wet it all down so when they pour the concrete it just doesn't suck the water right out of it. I want to make sure the concrete truck comes we're ready for them. We can just rock and roll, have them come in with the offshoot, offshoot it all over the place and just spread it out and have him leave. We don't want to tie them up.
cord and taking it in on your side? Yeah. So you want to angle it down maybe? Just like this? Yeah. When you speed it, you try to get that. Yeah. Okay. Come forward a smidge. That's good. that up a little bit with these like lava. Cold lava. It's kind of cool watching push down the leaves and all that down.
Oh, so much nicer. Yeah. So I notice it's better to keep it low and flat. Even on the way back? Even on the way back. Okay. Concrete's hard enough to work on, it's just not completely hardened yet. We need to keep hosing it down so it doesn't dry out. If it dries too fast, it'll crack. We just want to keep drying it, we just want to keep wetting it down. And I'm also going to give it a little, I'm going to take the broom to it, I'm going to sweep it and get some of these little higher spots down. We don't want this completely smooth because it's going to be our outdoor kitchen, there's going to be a lot of water in here, and I don't want to have to worry about slipping and sliding. We want a little bit of a rough texture to it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it really helps the channel grow. And we thank you for that. The channel has been growing awesome lately and that's all because of you guys. And I wanted to say a big thank you to my friend Nick today who came over and gave me a hand and thank you to his wife and daughter who gave him up for the day. Really appreciated it. If it wasn't for him, this project wouldn't get done today. So thanks, Nick. And we'll see you guys right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.